As St. Usha continues to celebrate the contribution of women to national development, Minister for Education, Innovation, and Gender Relations and Sustainable Development, Honorable Dr. Gail Rigabat, lauded the strides made in country. In a statement to the House of Assembly, Honorable Rigabat pointed out that St. Lucia had distinguished itself as a country where women dominate more than 50% of leadership positions in the public service, private sector, and in civil society organizations. Honorable Rigobert also congratulated WPC Bridget Algodel on becoming the first female Sergeant of Arms to serve in the House of Assembly. Algodel has been a member of the Royal St. Lucia Police Force for 23 years. I salute the many women who have served on the front lines of the last year and continue to make extraordinary sacrifices as they do their part to preserve the lives of St. Lucians, serve in the various service sectors in banks, supermarkets, markets, community shops, in hotels, nursing homes, and caring for the elderly. We recognize in particular our female farmers and women fishers for their part in meeting the need of the population for food. Wherever you may turn your attention, from the home to the classroom, the market to the bank, the Herculean efforts of women tell of their commitment to the social and economic development of our beautiful country. The Honorable Minister highlighted some of the strides made by the Department of Gender Relations in recent years, including the development of a national gender equality policy and strategy. Over 100 public officers received training in gender concepts and analysis, and a core of accounting and planning officers in the public service were trained in gender budgeting and planning through a CDB-funded initiative. This was in preparation for the identification and establishment of gender equality focal points across the various ministries, departments, and agencies of government so that we can actually mainstream gender in St. Lucia's national development. St. Lucia is one of nine Caribbean countries participating in a multi-million dollar project enabling gender responsive disaster recovery, climate and environmental resilience in the Caribbean. The theme for International Women's Day this year is Women in Leadership, Achieving an Equal Future in a COVID-19 World.